Arma versus Enfo. Okay, so um, I'll be speeding up because this uh, this game is is uh, not really interesting from the start, but I just wanted to be sure um, how the game was going to end. So um, Arma here in the teal. Let me um, let me put friend and foe colors on. Now again, Arma in red and Enfo in blue. Uh, starting with the bar barracks is completely useless in this map, no passage whatsoever. Um, but if these guys will put down their dock, um, they could be looking into some a decent amount of fish. Um, you know, it would be it would be a fair, fairly decent fish boom. But um, milling milling this would be better, man. Uh, with all the deer and the shore fish, uh, milling this would be good as well. But looks like Enfo is going for. The dog. He doesn't know about the island, so yeah, not really the best dog, but in the end it will pay off. Um, Arma now doing the same thing, and looking at the gold, there there is a a decent amount of gold on the map, so no problem whatsoever. Let's take a look at the sieves, uh, goths versus goths a. Gulf's War, so if this game is going to go Imperial Age, then we will be looking into some uh, <laughs> some decent amount of spamming going on. Now let's see. Um, I, d I do remember what, what more or less happened, but I'm not, I can't remember what happened at specific moments, so uh, in that regard I can I'll try to, to keep on talking about what happens and let's see what's the population 27 for uh, for armor now and oh wait I do have this of course for that uh, these guys are equal in population and both of them now are in fuel age let's see Enfo going for the early galley rush and um, Arma looking into doing the same but Enfo not really keeping his uh, galleys together, kind of a mistake, especially since he is attacking and he... Uh, oh, just a second by the way. Mm, let me turn down my in-game volume just a notch, don't really like it when I can't hear the caster. Um, but it should be alright now. Let's continue, unpause and speed up just a little more. Um, so yeah, our Enfo not really keeping his uh, galleys together uh, for now, so not really the best micro. Uh, but Arma on the other hand not really not really keeping his galleys together either, so uh, in that regard they are more or less the same. Uh, looking at the military, yeah, they are still the same, population still the same. So for now, as close as can be. Mm, let's see. Is either of these guys going for a landing? Hmm. Thank you, Notandre, for the following. Hope you enjoy your time here. And um, that we can see some more awesome games right here. Um, Enfono really pulling ahead in terms of military. What about, uh, what about the Arma, man? It's, what happened? What happened? He's, um, looks like he's uh, throwing away his galleys, uh, you know, one by one. And yeah, Enfo now finally c catching up in terms of micro, uh, keeping his galleys together, picking off galleys one by one and um, doing some good micro here, denying the dock. And Enfo should be alright, taking the water control, maybe doing some more fishing. There you go, more fishing ships. And increasing, increasing the amount of galleys more and more. Look at this, he can easily fight uh, Arma with only half his army. And let's see, Fletching. Um, Fletching coming out for Enfo and Arma, both of them do have Fletching. So what about going up to Castle H? Both of them still miles away from going Castle, but Enfo here Definitely in a better spot. Now this is what uh, Arma should have done much earlier. 
just um, you know, garrison the galleys, wait until you, he's stacked up some more, and then trying to fight this because fighting this one on one or uh, only with one galley, not going to do uh, much. Oh yeah, man. Flee, Mr. Galley, but oh yes, nice. Enfo here going for the landing. Let's see if he is just as good in la with landing as uh, Lang Feng. Archery range, barracks. Huh, okay, interesting. Archery range coming up for the Goths. Um, but of course they can make crossbow, so for, for the early castle age it's still going to be uh, good, but of course, in the end, uh, Goths are a infantry spam civilization, so he will need more, more barracks. But that's, of course, if he can keep this forward here, if he's not getting spotted just yet, and if he can mess up enough, um, if he can mess up enough archers. So, Arma being up uh, earlier, yeah, earlier by, um, what is it? Well. A decent amount of time. I'm too lazy to calculate, guys. I'm sorry. Um, but still, not by a whole, whole lot. And Enfo here having the water control and making a sneak. That's that's really powerful. If he loses here this forward right here, there's no problem whatsoever still because he does have the water control. But he should be um, careful not to uh, get sneaked himself. Fairly, fairly easily, easy to get sneaked, of course. And there you go, Archer's coming out now. Is he going to get some kills? Yes, of course. Uh, one villager down. Um, fletching already being done. Two villagers down. And this town center man, come on, try to deny it. Does he know about it? Uh, let's see. No, he doesn't. Nah, he's going. He's going for the villagers. Uh, and why not, of course? Putting out more and more archers, um, doing the Botkin arrow now. These villagers are still alive, so he will only strengthen his position right here, walking right into the wood line. Uh, come on, be careful now, don't lose your archers like this. Oh, big, big shot. Uh, good shot for Arma, and for now, uh, the damage is. Um, how do I say? The damage is done by Arma, the damage he needed. And Enfo now casually, you know, uh, chilling here, right here on the town center, getting a rock to the head and falling like a stone to the ground. Man, man, man. Enfo could have, um, you know, could have done a whole lot more damage if he would have microed his um, army just a little bit better, but it doesn't really matter because at this point now he can uh, put out some knights. Doing a nice castle here, on the hill, looking at the gold, so he is only strengthening his um, forward more and more. Doesn't look like um, Arma is about to do anything about it. Let's see, can he? Nah, he can't uh, deny the Manganel. Yeah, Enfo definitely just waiting to get uh, to get a castle up, make some Huskarls, and then starts to really do some damage. Um, but then again, what he does need is some uh, some siege man. Always, always bring in some siege, ram or mangandel, whatever. You can't really um, throw down town centers with only uh, non siege units. Even though huskarls, of course, are are very strong, uh, you will need a whole lot of them to to throw down a town center. So at this point, some siege would definitely help. Let's see, more raiding with only one knight. Man, this knight is almost dead. There you go, knight dead. And can he micro now, man? Enfo, come on, micro your... Oh man, look at this. Micro your arches. Wow, look at the gold of... Um, of Arma, man. He could, be, he could be buying his way up to the Imperial Age if he would sell some um, wood and gold. He could, be, uh, he could be going imp. Of course, that wouldn't really make much sense because he only has three town centers. His eco is really, really small. And 
And um, yeah, the impeding, impeding doom of Envo is real. It's uh, threatening. And John, uh, John, Arma, Arma better has a uh, got a better has a plan for this. With the war galley and the botkin arrow, um, Anfo now finally can make some use of his water control, uh, picking these villagers off. Uh, but Arma is um, Anfo. I mean Anfo being able to uh, use his water control, but. Um, Arma building now the castle on the shoreline. Uh, I would have liked it just a little bit more uh, towards the shoreline, but of course then it would have been denied by the war galleys. Um, you know, in this way, the castle is nice and all. It will uh, defend this, uh, these two town centers right here. But he can't, he can't put up a dock to... Uh, well, he can. Wow. But that is only because Envo is not really paying attention to that dock that is going up. What do we have here? Flags, flags. What is your mystery beneath? Two rams. Hmm, not really going to cut it. Maybe some rams mixed in with some huskarls. But yeah, knights. Uh, you know, with those mangonels. Um, two rams isn't going to be enough. More dogs. Wow. More and more dogs coming up for, um, for Arma here. Looks like he is... Uh, Fairly serious about um, taking back the water control, but man, fighting war galleys with galleys. Oh, I'm not sure, man, if that's going to work. Well, really depends. If you would have 100 galleys and, you know, five war galleys, then it, it would work. But at this pace, no chance. <laughs> Enfo is still, you know, losing these uh, archers, man. He's losing them. And, um, yeah, not really microing them. His scarls, of course, being being great to deal with mangonels. They are fast. They are fairly powerful. And yeah, four rams now. His scarls in the eco. Not really looking good for Arma at all. And one town center going down. These idols, man. Lots and lots of idols. Yeah, panic mode on. Panic mode on. What is what is Arma about to do, man? It's it's, it's over. Of course, I, uh, I I did know already, uh, but I, I just wanted to be sure. You know, you sometimes you do occasionally hear about the, the comeback, the great great comebacks, but um, depends. It really depends on how how moralized your opponent still is. But yeah, this pace is going to be defeated, man. Look at this. Huh, he does he does have war galleys now. Let's put my spec over there back. Uh, he does have war galleys, but it's too little too late, man. Water control is, is not going to help you at all. Uh, no, these rams, they will, um, they will, yeah, there you go. They will ram down the castle and the town centers and you are going to be dead. So, Enfo here doing a good game with uh, going for the landing. Now, let's see if, um, let's see if 